In this video, I want to write a proof of the power rule for derivatives, and I want the proof to work for any real exponent. The power rule states that the derivative of x to the c with respect to x is c times x to the c minus 1, where c is a constant. In an earlier video, link in the description, I already wrote a proof when c is a positive integer, but the result is true for any real constant c. The key to proving the power rule in general is to use this identity. For any real number c and for any positive number x, x to the c is defined as e to the c ln x. It may feel overkill to use logarithms in order to prove the power rule. Aren't powers more basic than logarithms? So then we prove the power rule before we introduce logarithms? Well, it depends. If we are happy to stick only to rational exponents c, then there are alternative proofs for the power rule without using logarithms. But if we want to prove the power rule for real exponent, there is no way around it. This identity is not merely a property of logarithms and exponentials, it is the definition of a power with real exponent. I will add a link in the description to another video where I discuss this in a bit more detail. The good news is that once we have this identity, the proof of the power rule is surprisingly quick as long as we already know the derivatives of e to the x and ln x. Here it is. I want to compute the derivative of x to the c. First, I rewrite x to the c as e to the c ln x. Now I have to take the derivative of the exponential of a function. Using chain rule, it will be itself times the derivative of the exponent. Next, I can write e to the c ln x back as x to the c. And the derivative of c ln x is c divided by x. And finally, I regroup x to the c divided by x as x to the c minus 1. And that's it. That completes the proof. Notice that this proof works for all exponents at once. Natural, rational, real, even complex. We paid a high price for it, though. We needed to develop the theory of logarithms first and know their properties, and we also needed to prove the formula for the derivatives of e to the x and ln x before proving this version of the power rule. To be fair, this proof only looks short, because we had to spend effort beforehand on developing more sophisticated tools.